My dad doesn't like snowmobilers. And it goes back to when the property was split by the railroad in ancestral times. The railroad leased this land that split the property. And all the people along that line were supposed to get their property back if and when the railroad failed going up to Mackinac City. The lease was finished. It went back to the owners of the property. And when that happened, the county or whatever they decided they were keeping that railroad line and they put snowmobile trails going up where the tracks used to be and bicycle trails and things to make people's lives better. But you know what? It's the whole utilitarianism thing. I, I, I think that's it. Whose life is more important? The one of the individual or the whole group? They ask that question all the time. But what they seem to leave out is who originally had ownership? All the people in the world being happy Day in and day out, day in and day out, we'll get bored with being happy. But the person who's unhappy because they had their shit stolen for these fucking jackasses, that person will never forget the wrong that's been done to them. So how do you weigh that? The good of the money? <laughs> oh, what the fuck was I doing? or the pain that it creates for somebody that's had something taken away from them. Thievery is the root of all evil. Major Temple, Lieutenant General Temple, Army Corps of Engineers, Pentagon. He said that and he's right. You take something from somebody, no matter what kind of crime you perpetrate on them. You've taken it. And thievery is right there. Whether it's your dignity, or it's your property, it's your safety. It's all taken away by thievery. So you've got a man standing there saying he hates his snowmobilers and he laughs when there's no snow in winter because oh those fuckers aren't coming up here and invading our territory. On a weekend. Same way in the summers when the golfers would come up. He always liked my stories of things with the golfers, you know. He just liked me screwing with them. It's, it's not just snowmobilers, it's tourists he hates. So I have to forgive him for forgetting that when we had a beautiful summer like this, this is the best summer I've seen in years. I'll say last year, but uh, that means, and I don't know, I don't go through Farmer's Almanac for this, but uh, if you don't realize what I'm about to say, whether we, we forgot or don't know or don't believe as farmers, 
but just such a beautiful summer as this without any rain, without any cold, without any real discrepancies in the weather, the way I witnessed it. Um, that means it's gonna be a cold, dry winter. Cold, bitter cold. That's what I see. I'm, I'm predicting right now. I'm as good as a weatherman. It's gonna be a cold, bitter winter with very little wet snow very little snowfall as antarctica is a desert because of, of the lack of precipitation i get the feeling we're gonna have a winter like that where it's just cold as fuck and there's no snow and when my dad says he's glad that there's no snow because that means the snowmobilers aren't coming up i i think i'm like well what about the crop next year because that snow sits on the ground. A hole deep to an engine, they'd say back home. I don't know what an engine is. It, 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 I know it. if all the cylinders aren't firing properly, it's gonna be replaced. But uh, yeah, you need that snow. Let it go down back into the aquifers. But I get the feeling this beautiful summer we have I don't really get the feeling. I'm going to take that back. It's just an inkling. This beautiful summer we had is leading into a cold, bitter winter. It's just going to fucking kill everything. And uh, next summer, drought. It doesn't matter who's in charge. It really doesn't. There is a system in place. Weather we forgot or don't know or don't believe your time is gonna come